Right, I've just set up my MyFed milling attachment on my MyFed ML7 and this evening I'm going to do a test on it again and see how it performs cutting a 6mm keyway slot in a steel shaft. So this is the setup. I'm using my indexing pin assembly to lock the spindle in position. The milling attachment is bolted onto the cross slide and then I'm using a counterbalance system on the opposite side to even the weight out. And the shaft won't go further back in the jaws than it is so I've centre drilled it and I'm using a 2MT extension in the tailstock and then the live centre. And in the collet chuck I'm using a 6mm 4 flue end mill. This again is as far as I can get it back in the collet chuck, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to be winding it in using this hand wheel on the back of the lead screw. And if you use this method of feed using the handle, what I do to make it easier to wind in is to release the gears and to drop them down so at the moment the handle is winding the whole train of gears there so like I say what I do is just undo these two nuts here and drop that assembly down to disengage the gears from the top ones here and then you'll find it's much quieter to wind and much easier. And when I finished using the hand wheel, I bring that back up again and reset it and lock those two nuts up again. And I've set a carriage stop as well. Looks like it's cutting really well.
brilliant torque, there's no slowing of the motor whatsoever. And I think that's pretty excellent. Very good finish on it. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So now I've set up a piece of marine grade stainless steel and I'll see how it performs on that.
and I think that's absolutely excellent and I'm really pleased with that. So I think it's an absolutely fantastic little setup for the Myford lathes and probably um, many other lathes as well if you have the cross slide with the actual slots there. Um, that's one of the best things about the Myford ML7 and the Super 7 is the cross slide. Brilliant design and having this weight hanging off this side doesn't matter in the slightest because of the counterbalance system on the back and it's absolutely rigid in its design and setup and you will have seen there by that machining there was no vibration at all or any chatter and so far all the tasks that I've set for the milling attachment have been completed with ease and I reckon this setup has a lot of versatility and I also reckon that I can actually get away with just using this milling attachment rather than buying an actual milling machine.